Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. With San Bernardino, Stockton, and Mammoth Lakes declaring bankruptcy, mayors throughout the state are asking, how are we doing? Are we next? Well, with us now is the mayor of La Habra, Tim Shaw, to discuss such issues. Thank you so much for being here. So how is La Habra doing? Well, it's all relative, you know, compared to those cities. We're doing great. Um, we're, it's a tight budget. We're hanging in there. Um, but. Uh, you know, it's we could it could be worse, so we're we're happy with where we're at. Okay, well, let's talk about some of the specifics because it seems that what's really plaguing some of these other cities are pension liabilities and uh, the expenses related to fire and police services. How much of your budget is uh, already taken up by pension liabilities compared to the money you need to spend on other things? Right. Well, that number we have to uh, pay to CalPERS every year has been going up. You know, we look at some ratios. Um, our miscellaneous plan is currently funded at about 70, 71 percent. Mm -hmm. And the miscellaneous um, plan is what you spend on everything? Yeah, well that's for our employees, that are everyone who's not public safety. Okay. And you know, we, we're planning for their retirement and their future pension costs. Mm -hmm. For the public safety guys, um, it's about 65 percent. We're part of a, a public safety investment pool. Uh, there, so that that's funded at about 65 percent. Now, how does this compare to where you were about five years ago? Because this is yeah. a progressive thing that seems to be sneaking up on a lot of cities. Right. Just looking at the numbers, I mean, five years ago we were about 95 percent funded on the miscellaneous plan, about mm -hmm. 92 percent on the public safety plan. What's happened is, you know, over the last five years, it's not that we were enhancing our pension benefits; it's just that the investments that the that the funds are getting um, have not been getting the kind of returns we needed so that's how we've been falling behind. So, so to address it we went to a two-tier pension. We've gotten uh, agreements in place with our uh, bargaining units to basically all the new hires are coming in at a much much lower, much reduced uh, pension plan. So over time as uh, the guys who are on the better pension plans retire and they're replaced by people with the, the you know less generous pension which should you know hopefully uh, reverse itself. In some cities, even doing that's not going to help out too much. Right. What effect do you expect it to have in La Habra? Well, to get um, immediate savings, you want your employees to pay a greater portion out of their own paycheck towards the pension plan. That can kind of help you, uh, you know, uh, save, have the immediate savings. But uh, changing that ratio, you know, raising the retirement age and, and lowering that multiplier uh, number from the 3% at 50 down to 2% at 50 for our police. Is, is one example. That's what over time will really get you the savings. Any other changes on the table? Uh, the, the thing we're doing for, for our employees to get to our uh, balanced budget is getting furloughs. Um, the employees prefer that because they just get, they get time off. It's like unpaid time off. So uh, for this year it's about 60 hours for the whole year that they have to take uh, furlough time, just unpaid time off. So you might come to City Hall on a Friday, the, it'll be closed because uh, we we got a, a furlough day in there or something. So, but that's how we, you know, uh, got to a good agreement with our employees to to get the budget balanced uh, with furloughs. You've already shifted some of your um, uh, public safety issues out of town. Tell us about that and the effect that it's had. Yeah, it was before I got elected to the city council. But about uh, 2005, thereabouts, the city council uh, did something very uh, bold. They contracted with L.A. County Fire. Now, La Habra, of course, is an Orange County city, but we have Los Angeles County to our west and to our north. So they, uh, we think we're the only city anywhere that's contracted with an agency that's basically outside of their county. So we went with LA County Fire. It was a 10-year contract. Uh, so here in another three years or so, we're going to have to renew that contract or decide what we want to do. But uh, LA County Fire is providing our fire service, and it's it's been. Um, uh, a big stabilizer in our fire costs, actually. So cities looking at lots of alternatives to uh, stay stable. Thank right. you very much thank for you. being here. And thank you for watching.